Hey, what's up guys? I got some more Medal of Honor Warfighter news for you guys today, as well as links to leaked multiplayer gameplay that was shown at this uh, gaming event that's going on in Sweden, which is called DreamHack. Uh, I believe that's what it's called. And they did the Medal of Honor Warfighter multiplayer uh, reveal there, and it's being shown off on PCs, uh, high-end PCs, uh, using NVIDIA graphics cards, and it looks amazing. If you guys want to see it, the links are in the description box below. And as far as uh, the gameplay itself, it's taken off screen, so it's like a guy hiding his camera, showing it off the screen. But the thing about it is that the maps look highly detailed and the lighting looks fantastic, which is a huge upgrade uh, from Medal of Honor 2010. And if you guys look at the gameplay, you'll see how detailed the maps are, you'll see how the lighting looks and how it affects the player and the shadows and everything like that. And the graphics of the game itself definitely looks like they delivered a huge upgrade for the game. But of course, that's expected with the Frostbite 2 engine as we saw in Battlefield 3. And the map that they're playing on seems to be this close-quartered map uh, that kind of looks like it takes place in a village in the desert, maybe. And uh, you can't really see too much uh, because of the brightness of the screens. Uh, it doesn't really go well with, you know, recording a camera off the screen and whatnot. But as far as we can see, it's looking much better than Medal of Honor 2010. Another thing that I noticed is that the health regeneration looks so much slower than it was in Medal of Honor 2010. And another thing is that the damage is much more distracting. And it lasts for a bit longer as, like I said, the health regeneration takes uh, much longer. And the reason why I say the damage is more, much more distracting is because there's lots of uh, screen blood. For those of you guys who don't know what screen blood is, it's basically when you get shot, you get the uh, whole, uh, you, like, the blood on the screen. If you guys ever play Call of Duty, you know it's in there. And uh, Medal of Honor 2010 had this as well, and uh, it, there's a lot of it. It definitely does cover up the corners and everything like that, and it distracts your point of view. And you have to get into cover, and you have to stay into cover for a while uh, to let the health regenerate on its own. Another thing that I've noticed is that the kill cam points in the direction killed. It's not going to follow the player uh, as it does in Battlefield 3, or it's not going to do anything like uh, show you your the way he killed you or anything like that. It's just going to point in the direction in which he shot you from. So by doing that, it gives you the opportunity to give your teammates a heads up as to which direction you got shot from, and then they could go in that direction using flanking maneuver or anything like that. Another thing that I noticed is that you rapple into the maps, and I saw this in, uh, in I guess it was the beginning part of the game. I'm not sure if, uh, if it only happens when you first enter the game or if it keeps on happening throughout the game. Uh, but you're rappelling from choppers into the map, as you saw in that uh, multiplayer preview. Or I'm not sure if it was the... Yeah, it was the multiplayer preview that they showed at E3. Uh, the trailer that was. If you guys want to see more of that, uh, you can check my videos from the past week. I'll try to give you guys a link in the description box below to uh, the multiplayer reveal trailer, as well as an analysis of it. A couple of weapons that we saw in the uh, gameplay that was shown off screen was the A-12 shotgun, the AUG assault rifle... The M4A1 carbine and the SIG P226, which is the standard sidearm for the Navy SEALs. And uh, I'm pretty sure that a lot more uh, assault rifles, machine guns, pistols, and all that are going to be included, no doubt. And I'm also pretty sure that the M16 is going to be making its way into the game as well. So that's all the Medal of Honor Warfighter news I got for you guys today. Don't forget to check out that gameplay. Uh, the links are in the description box below. And if you guys found this video both enjoyable and informative, all I ask in return is that you take a few seconds to hit that like button. Definitely does help me out. Favorite this video, share it, subscribe if you're new here because there's going to be a lot more Medal of Honor Warfighter news and content in the future. So until next time, guys, peace.